day that the Lord has made. We shall rejoice and be glad in it. Hallelujah, hallelujah. To God be the glory for all the good things he's done in our lives. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Love you. Hey, you know what? I wanted to show, but after this is great for you to read, but this is talking about now, this is what Jesus preached, and this is why I'm, saying I'm concerned that people don't get get an understanding of what they need to do here now so that their soul it comes to Christ instead of outside of the world system. Take a look at this one right here. Because this kind of applies to what's going on or could apply to what's going on in the world from the atrocities and stuff we see. You you notice this parable, but I like this to read it. This break you can break it down as you read it for me. But see if you can apply that today. I tell about see see where that fits today as it did then, if you could. Okay, this is Luke 16, uh, 19. There was a certain rich man which was clothed in purple and fine linen, and he fared sumptuously every day. And there was a certain beggar named Lazarus, which was laid at his gate, full of sores, and desiring to be fed with the crumbs which fell from the rich man's table. Moreover, the dogs came and licked his sores, and it came to pass that the beggar died. Stop. Was carried by an angel. Out. Yes. Stop for a second. Can, can that can that reflect on anything today? What you just read? It can reflect on on a whole lot of stuff today. You know, um, a certain rich man that that and that goes across the board. That, that can be people in the church or right. out of the church. Come on now. Come on. You know. Uh, so I yeah. You know, we have people in in the church. We we have pastors that fare sumptuously. <laughs> well, we have we have Lazaruses all in the pews. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Or, or, or outside the pews, right? Right? Yeah. yeah. In, in the, like I said, in the church and out of the church, this, this applies. Exactly. And I'm you know, and, 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 and you got people in in the pews that are desiring to be fed the crumbs <laughs> because that's what they're taught. Get the crumbs of God. <laughs> Hey, look, hey, look, the other piece I think about the swords kind of remind me of wounds and, you know, bruises. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? So go, go ahead. I just want to put that set that stain of people who say, I, I, I don't want to replace, I don't want to lose the power. And, and, okay, so if you have this power, you have this luxury, this, you know, this, this great life. I, you know, I just want to set that stage of those who have and those who don't have. Yeah. Those who are living great, enjoying themselves, and those who are suffering. Is yeah, what yeah. There, right? So yeah. now going to you. So you see how what I was trying to do? Now going to the next phase we were just talking about. Yeah. You, you know, some pastor, pastor tell us, and, and I think for me that would be a foreign departure because I would tell them, yeah, you're going to do I'll do them still. If you come to Christ, you're going to give all that up. And what you are afraid of losing, you need to give it up. Because that's what they have to do anyway. And we really taught that. Yeah. But but what Christ tells us, you know, in order to have a relationship with him, you can't put value on stuff. Right. He, the man, he said, and then we said this before, he says, a man who does not give up all he has cannot be a disciple. And so it, we're, we're talking total commitment, and therein you find peace. Yeah. If yeah. that person is worried about losing stuff, you take it to the scripture, say the father says what? He says, you know, don't worry about what you're gonna eat, what you're gonna drink, what you're gonna put on. Right. You didn't worry about these things. You see, keep for the king of God, and all you feel and you feel some of that anxiety is dispelled. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. But as long as we keep telling them that, oh, you ain't got to give up nothing, well, if we tell them that, then we lie to them because the, the father himself, Jesus himself, does, in order to be his disciple, you're gonna have to give up everything. Well, but, you know, but it but, doesn't mean you're not gonna have it. It means exactly. you're gonna be provided to you through other means. Exactly. And he tells us that. Exactly. But they feel like they've got to acquire this stuff and, and they're, they're anxious about maintaining it and keeping it. But we're saying give it up and Christ got got you back. Right. Right. Because, right, because in that parable we're reading, we, we're saying is okay, you have it. You have, you know, you live in great, you know, brother, as we get all this good stuff. Yep. You, got, you got this poverty around you. You got people that have pain, sore, sickness, and all that stuff around you, right? 
so, so but now let's read the rest of that. I, I like, I, I wanted to set that stage for people who sit there and want to enjoy their life and, 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 and want to protect it, and don't want to share. Let's see what happens. Go ahead, what happened now? Okay. You got 21. Uh, yeah, I, I ended in 21 and, and desired to be fed with the crumbs which fell from the rich man's table. Moreover, the dogs came and licked his sores. Continuing, and it came to pass that the beggar died and was carried by the angels into Abraham's bosom. The rich man also died and was buried. <laughs> wow, uh -huh. I never really noticed that. Yes, sir. <laughs> the rich man died and was buried. Yeah, I didn't see no angels in there, but. but <laughs> But Lazarus was carried to Abraham's bosom. That, that's the first time I noticed that. Come on, brother. No. Come on. It was a big difference between one that was taken to an eternal life yep. and someone was taken to death. Okay. And the people thought they had something with the ones who, I just thought they were going. So, so this is the difference. The dude that was buried, and he lifted up his eyes in hell. <laughs> but the next thing he saw was torment. Yeah, and in hell he lifted up his eyes, being in torment. Yes, sir. And see Abraham from afar off. Yes, sir. And Lazarus in his bosom. Oh, oh. And he cried and said, Father Abraham, uh -huh. have mercy on me. Yes, sir. Then Lazarus, that he may dip the tip of his finger in water and cool my tongue, for I am tormented in this flame. Oh. So, this is a question I had. What's that? Did this rich man knew who Abraham was yes, prior he did. to him yes, he dying? Did. Yes, sir. Did he live with Abraham? What's that? Did he recognize Abraham from before he died? I don't think so. I think the. Uh... If you remember when uh, Peter and John and James went up on the Mount of Ten yeah. they yeah. saw Abraham and saw a Moses. Who they saw? Moses I, and Abraham. Yeah, well, well I, I said that to bring up a point. Uh, Elijah, yes, go ahead, go ahead. When you're exposed go ahead, brother. to this spiritual realm yes, sir. Come on, of there. God, uh -uh. that you have clarity and understanding yes. that you did not have prior exactly. to it. It's not a head knowledge. Come on now. Things of God. Yes, sir. These are spiritual things that have full knowledge and understanding, and you're aware. So in hell, Come these on. people get the same fullness that the people in heaven get, except their gift of, of a new body is to endure the torment. Yes, sir. And I'm, that's why I'm telling you I'm concerned about I, and I'm sorry I brought that picture back to you. I'm sorry I didn't mean to do that. You know, picture earlier. Okay? Yeah. But I was more looking at those people and saying where they may be. You know, because they got clarity now that was I doing the right thing. Yeah. I was alive. Yeah, they, they could have been like the rich man, you know, or after that, they could have gotten stayed. We, we don't know. We don't know that. that. That's, that's, right. I'm just talking about at that point. That's at that yeah. point. Uh, Jesus died for, for, for them as well. That, exactly. that, that's, that's, that's the thing. That's why all souls matter. Exactly. He died for them. He died for those people who, 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 who hung that man and burnt him. You know, whether he was alive or not, but that dude was burnt on yes, that sir. tree. Yes, sir. Uh, uh, and that's they sad. And, they, and, and all those who witnesses witnessed that, you know, that were standing in there. I didn't see anybody who who uh, was in disgust in that picture. I know it. You know, it they were looking on with, with interest and, and just staring off into and toward the, uh, that individual hanging in the tree, but. And that, uh, and, and don't, and like I said, don't let that get to you. The point I'm saying is that I don't want them, if they never change, and if they taught their children to do that, you see what I'm saying? It just, yeah. I'm concerned about where they could be like this, like this rich man is. Yeah. But see, that, that, seeing stuff like that, that brings on a war that, that, that I don't need. Because but, 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 in my mind, I start thinking, I hope they all are in hell. And, and the thing of it is, you know, and I don't need that. You're probably closer to where they are. 
the, the reality of it is they don't understand the hill that they brought down on themselves in that exactly. act. Exactly, that's and, what I'm saying. And, and, and it's never been preached to them before. People are not, you know, people are not going like, you know, so no, it's so bad, whatever you thought. What's going to happen to that guy that killed him? And I would say forever. This I'm guy's sight soul is still in danger of being, of, of being, of going to eternal hell because he's going to have any condemnation. Well, forget the guy that, that, that did it. Yeah, the, that, but that's the, 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 the issue right should now. be did Floyd know Jesus Christ he as his it. Lord and Savior? That's as, what as, as concern it's is. Now, Floyd is finished. Whether he, he knew him or not, his, his trial is finished. I, I understand you know, that, but, but that should be the focal point. The focal hey, point right. should be that you don't know the time or the hour, the day that you shall go yes. see your maker. So, though he died, prayerfully, this man's soul was saved. And though this other man killed him, prayerfully, that his soul was yeah. saved. And he's yeah. still salvageable because he's still on the planet. Yeah. So, I and, mean, and, and I think that, that, that is a, the focus for the church is, has to be, even to the point that we are being sacrificed to sustain other people's lives to bring them into the fellowship of God. However they got lost, or well, we know how they got lost, but however they got deceived, and there's no crime that's going to be committed that's going to be just isolated. It says the eyes of the Lord in every place to the good and the evil. Those people that hung that guy on that tree, their hearts have to be dealt with. Hey, but here's the Something point. is going to happen in their lives to do that. I mean, repentance doesn't come at, maybe it does happen in, in hell, but it don't help you in hell. You have to repent of the deed prior to leaving this planet. So something has to come into their lives that's going to bring them to that state of repentance. Something yeah. has to happen to them. Yeah. And that is what we're not preaching. We're not, oh, you're going to die and go to hell. No, you're going to catch hell on earth. Yeah. There is something going to happen to you and your family. The word says the seed of the wicked shall not inherit. So no matter what you do to evil, evil you do to another person to gain control of what you think, uh, gain what you think is control of whatever resources are passing on to them. You have already cursed your kids when you live a wicked life. You gotta look at it like this. That man that shot that, that brother seven times in his back, he ain't thinking about his family or his seed or anything else. But he's thinking about himself. It's all about self, self-awareness. Uh, uh, self-sacrifice. He will sacrifice his family to not be punished and go to prison, and, and the, uh, which which he has already done. Right. But uh, the fact of the matter is, it's, there is a clarity going on in that man's mind right now yeah. of his actions. Exactly. Because there's a requirement on him in this physical realm that he knows is being tested, and despite all the favor that he has. He is still being vexed in this natural realm. But in that is where somebody in this body that we live in should be telling this man about Jesus Christ who can save his soul. And if there is nobody that's doing that in this particular time, when this man gets off, which I'm pretty sure he is, because that's how this system is set up. It's not going to matter to him. Well, here's the point. Because there is no clarity after that. But, but because the truth is not being preached, we have to preach that there's an eternal judgment for him. It's not just this thing that's happening in this culture, in this society. There is an eternal God that's looking at him. I remember the one, you know, where's that big brother from? Uh, there's the one situation where Paul says, you want to turn him over to the devil. Uh -huh. that his body might be destroyed and that his soul might be saved in their judgment. So we as the sons of God have power in this realm to influence something through our prayer. Every prayer that you pray is not for somebody, oh Lord, please bless them, bless them Lord, and I'll save them. By whatever means necessary, save his immortal soul. And that might be some more horrendous experiences of his life. He might come to Christ on his deathbed while he's being tortured, unable to breathe himself. But get him there. And that's the kind of thing that we are pulling away from, I guess, because of political correctness and lying on Jesus. Like, oh, you know, Jesus just love you, he just love Jesus, and that, but nah, thank you, that's a damnable lie. This man <laughs> died for us on the cross in a horrendous manner and would take you to your nth degree to get your soul saved. Hey, for Albert, the great thing that people are concerned about too is not only that person, 
But me not showing that picture, that was picture back in the 60s at, or, or 40s. I'm just talking about the children's children too. So we want to reach not only the, the, uh, the individual for the day that may do atrocities, but we want to make sure that they and everybody else understand we got to teach our children to do Christ. Oh, yeah. To do hate. That's a concern I have. Now, look what happened though. But I have to keep reading this so we make sure people get the rest of the, the scripture on this because it does split, it does uh, break it down. Well, what else happened? Okay. Okay, so I'm at 1624. And he cried and said, Father Abraham, have mercy on me. And send Lazarus that he may dip the tip of his finger in water and cool my tongue, for I am tormented in this flame. All right, next one. But Abraham said, Son, remember that thou in thy lifetime receiveth thy good things, and likewise Lazarus evil things. But now he is comforted and thou art tormented. And beside all this, between us and you, there is a great gulf fix, so that they which who pass would pass from hence to you cannot. Neither can they pass to us that would come from thence. Yes, sir. So there is no back and forth. Once, once, once your <laughs> soul has been stamped, denied, yes, sir. it can't be stamped Accept it and vice versa. Right, vice versa part. I think the point is the main thing is that he's saying is Lazarus can't come to help you. Yeah, and you can't come to him. You oh you ain't come. <laughs> I think he yeah. didn't recognize that. He he didn't say for him to go over there, right? Yeah, but that's what was explained to him. He's like, look, can't nobody go there either. <laughs> from here, from 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 where you are, they can't come here. Exactly. So you you where you at, he where he at. Right. Okay, 27. Then he said, I pray thee, therefore, Father, that thou wouldest send him to my father's house. For I have five brethren, that he may testify unto them, lest they also come unto this place of torment. Abraham said unto him, They have Moses and the prophets. Let them hear them. Oh, yeah, Let one them more. hear them. Yeah, it is one more right there. That's the last and he said, Nay, Father Abraham. But if one went unto them from the dead, they will repent. <laughs> and he said unto him, If they hear not Moses and the prophets, neither will they be persuaded, though one rose from the dead. Ooh. And let me tell you, <laughs> one did rise from the dead, and they still don't hear him. <laughs> you know what? I they still it. don't hear Jesus, and he rose from the dead. Exactly. So that, that says a lot. Hey, look. Moses was correct. <laughs> Abraham was correct. Yes, sir. And, 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 and people that they will give their soul for this, you know, whatever they think is enjoyment or power or whatever for this world, this living. But they don't they don't realize the the what what this world coined as the afterlife. See, Some don't think there is one afterlife, which blows my mind because I don't know how all this that I'm experiencing just <laughs> vapors off and then there's nothing. How can how can my my thoughts, my life, my being just end to where there's nothing? What what that makes no sense at all to me. My brain just can't fathom that there's nothing that I I cease to exist. Right. I, I don't I don't understand how anybody can think that. They want, to reject, they want to reject that knowledge. Well, I mean, it is a rejection because you can't, my, my, I don't know. I, I, my brain just can't come to, to rationalize that my voice that comes from my spirit, that, that that's it, that I'm just, that nothing, there's nothing. I, 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 don't, I don't understand that. Right. I don't I don't understand that. My my brain just can't. But they don't think that because they don't they don't know. Their their spirit is dead and their soul is dead. Wow. Wow. You know, they're they're they I, I just can't I mean they have been truly blinded. Yes, sir. And they teach and the concern I have is it's become a generational thing. Yeah, again. Well, their their generational is their seed. Yeah, 
and some of them don't even care about that know. you know and and th those are the people who are outside of this body you know all they have is their children to carry forth because they don't think nothing outside of that or they don't think that there's any consequence for the the life that they live right you know so they live the life they live uh people that are in the body are being taught things that are contrary to the gospel yes sir I know. you know whether they're in a caucasian church or a church that, that are is of color right. you know you're you're not being taught who you are in christ Come you're on. not being taught the uh fruits of the spirit and the the the, the fruits of death Come on. Well, the fruit of death so you're, you're you're not being taught that you're being taught everything but that i can guarantee you that uh the scripture in john where it says you know that uh, talks about life yes sir uh it's not being taught in caucasian church you, I, don't, I don't think that's a regular thing that's being taught you know that all lives you know the the life of everybody is is is, 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 is being taught that you should love your brother and all that other stuff love uh, yeah. and 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 so on and so forth but no different than people in churches of color i mean we're not being taught that it's not for us to uh seek out you know homes and better homes and and, yeah. and all this other stuff right. you know uh uh checks in the mail and 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 cars and, and stuff like that and 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 so they're being taught these these natural things in church to to go seek that stuff instead of seeking those things that are from above you know that will manifest all that stuff those are fruits wow. from the root yeah you know that that stuff manifests when you seek you put god first and jesus christ first and you find out who you are in christ those things will just manifest and if they don't it doesn't matter exactly because yeah. your 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 life is not subject to those things it didn't matter that rich man did it no no it not at all that rich man didn't think to say well go tell my brothers to gather up all that you can and prepare for your future wow. no that man said look <laughs> you need to repent yeah. because your life is going to end and you're going to be here in this tormented place. If you don't have Christ, that's the point. So, so yeah, you, you think about, I, I'm pretty sure there's a lot of people in hell wishing that, that, that somebody would go witness to their family members. Yes, sir. And you know, that's why I was saying is that before you came by the temptation, the last three temptations after the fourth temptation, that last one is the one I think that pulls a lot of people in. Is this glory? You know, they they think Jesus, the devil said, I give you all this glory if you worship me. How many people are just focus on the glory of this present world, the comfort of the of they perceive as comfort in this present world? And yet they can lose their soul. Well, I can guarantee you that uh, that man heard from Moses and the prophet. I'm talking about the rich man. Yeah. So he knew. Yeah. Otherwise, but it was too late. Right? Yeah. The clarity, clarity is, is death in afterlife is irrelevant at that point. If yeah. you don't know Christ, you know, and that's why I say that all you do is really justify God's righteous judgment for you. Yeah, that's what, you what. That's what it is. And we want to make that thing, you know, knowing that this that's that's the uh, reality for a lot of these people, which actually motivates at least me. Yeah. To 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 get these folks to understand that all souls matter. It's not about a race thing. It's not about a rich thing, a poor thing. It's about a soulful thing. It's about a spiritual warfare that's going on. Now, either your eyes are blinded to this war or they're open but one way or another you're in it you know there's a lot of people that 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 are in war zones that aren't participating but the reality of it is they're experiencing the suffering and the damage of their up you know they're subject to it. it's, it's, it's whether they're whether they're fighting or not right if you're if you're in a war zone 
you're going to reap the reality of that war zone. Yes, sir. No matter what side you're on. Right. So the, the thing is, you we, we like I was saying, we have to put on our armor. Come on down. And we gotta move forward and, and fight this fight that we're we're supposed to be fighting. Right. It is our mantle. And I and I'm I'm a I'm a harp on it and I'm gonna keep harping on it because this is going out to, to some people who may hear this, yes. that the weapons of our warfare are not carnal. So we're not about this world system and about fighting in this world for for things, on, for brother. status. Yeah. We're fighting for your soul, your soul and to remove the oppression of the devil that he has on your lives. On, and the only way to do that is through the word of God yeah. and to follow in the footsteps of Jesus Christ who went about healing all those who were oppressed of the devil. That is our example. Yeah. And that is what we do. We speak the word and the word delivers these, delivers these people yes, who sir. are in bondage. You know, I like the fact that...